a poor boy was selling goods from door to door to earn money for school. All he had left was just one dime and he was very hungry. So he decided to ask the owners of the next house for a meal. But he felt very nervous about it. When a lovely young woman opened the front door, the boy asked for a glass of water instead of a meal. She looked at him and assumed he was hungry and brought him a big glass of milk. The boy drank the milk slowly and asked the omen, How much do I owe you? She replied, You don't owe me anything. My mother taught me never to accept payment in return for kindness. The boy said, then I thank you from my bottom of my heart. As the boy walked away, he felt stronger physically but also had a stronger faith in God. Years later, the omen who gave him the milk became extremely ill. The local doctors were puzzled by her condition. So they sent her to the big city. A specialist called Dr. Johnson was called for a consultation about her health. As he heard the name of the town she came from, He walked to her room so, to see the omen. He immediately recognized her face. Then he went back to the consultation room feeling committed to save the omen's life. He devoted most of his time to her case. After a long and difficult struggle, the battle with the disease was over. Dr. Johnson asked the office to give him the final bill for approval. It was $28,250. He looked at it, then wrote something on the edge and sent it to the omen's room. She was mortified about it because she knew she would have to spend the rest of her life to pay for it. Once she got the courage to open it, her attention was caught by something written on the side. It read paid in full with one glass of milk, Dr. Ben Johnson. Dr. Ben Johnson was a successful doctor, but he never forget, forgot the feeling that glass of milk provided for him when he needed it the most. Never stop doing good things for others. Your kindness will multiply before it returns back to you. Give it to others and you will have it given to you. A good deed will circulate before it returns back to your lap. So yeah, thanks for watching the story. I will come with another story. Till then, bye-bye.